What's up guys, Tonged Up. Welcome back to my channel again. Uh, this is continuation on my rebuild on my 2000 Toyota Celica 1ZZ motor. Here I have the uh, timing chain cover, getting the surface clean up so I can put the uh, gasket sealant on the uh, contact surface mating area. And also while I got the uh, timing cover off, I went ahead and replaced the, um, the front main seal right there. It's easy to access since everything is out. Right here, the uh, upper block and the lower block, where they meet, the uh, surface is not quite flat. Put some extra uh, gasket sealant in those area to make sure they seal properly when the uh, timing cover is placed back on. And it is okay to have a little extra sealant than not enough. If you don't have enough, then possibility when you put it back together, then you may have a little leak. But if you have a little more, but not too much, if you have a little more, then when you put the uh, timing cover back on and the excess gasket material get pushed out and you can wipe it off. Here's a comparison between the OEM and the aftermarket water pump. Uh, the aftermarket water pump, uh, certain area, bolt holes, the uh, metal is a little thicker. I did need to have to get longer bolts to make it work. So I went ahead and tightened all these small bolts right here to 10 foot pound. So when I had the uh, cover out, I replaced the seal already. So I got the uh, mark right here. The mark right here line up is zero. I have these uh, bolt torqued down to uh, 10 pounds. These are 10 millimeters. These are 12 millimeter bolts, three of them. 
they took down to 17 pounds. So I got a, a new one of this over here, the belt tensioner. Here's the old belt tensioner. The package came with a new one. And we want to do is um, press this thing down. There's a little lever right here. And pile of pressure to it. And push it down. And lock it in. So it's lined up a zero with the marking right here again. And you can see the uh, the two dots on each gear. They line up correctly. Apply a little gasket material right, right by the chain cover meet with the engine block to uh, make sure they seal properly when the uh, valve cover is bolted back on. All right, that's it. Um, got everything put back together. And all I need to do is uh, hook up some of the other parts I have, like the alternator and 
I'm going to do the exhaust at the end because if I put the exhaust manifold over here then it may or may not clear when I put it in there and uh, then you put some more parts back like the dipstick along with the hose right here this is easy and uh, you tighten this bolt down a little bit and I went ahead before I installed this this cover back on I pound the uh, these little spacer out a little bit so this way I can when I put the uh, steering pump back in there this won't be in this won't this little piece won't be in the way because this this piece does move back and forth what I did is uh, I put a socket on this side here, a larger socket on this side over here, and I just hit it with the hammer on this side over here, then it'll shift over. Right now it's hard to do it because it's on the block, so best to do it when you have it out. Alright, uh, this is this for this video. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time, alright? Bye.